mail update. Been waiting for this for a little bit. This is, uh, I've cut the box open, but I haven't actually pulled this stuff out yet. It's been in the market for some Russian, or at least European block, RPG sites. And in the United States, they get to be stupid expensive. What is this, a cleaning kit? Maintenance, well, I think it's, uh, it's a tool. Oh, you know, it's a cloth, I guess, and a cloth to clean, maybe clean the optics. And, oh, you know what? That's gonna be a, uh, that's gonna be a battery pack, probably, for the, uh... so, anyway, it comes to the nice case. I don't know what we're gonna do with the case. RPG, we keep stuff here in the armory. Uh, you know, I collect, uh, you know, the uh, anti-tank weapons. And um, trying to get a Russian or European communist block RPG site has been, it's been stupid expensive in the U.S. I mean, they're going 300 400 500 I think I saw one as $800. The Chinese ones are all over the place, but the Chinese ones use a different AK style mount. Uh, those of you that run AKs with that, uh, that, that side rail, this is the same type of rail. But uh, those Chinese optics, they tend to be green. Um, they require an adapter plate for it because it's a different size rail. Well, that just won't work with Russian stuff. I can't put a Chinese scope on a, Ru on a Russian weapon, so there's some uh, Cyrillic markings. And uh, what do we got here? Possibly, well, that doesn't say, I don't know if I see a year on this or not. So that's 7B, not 7.8. The uh, eyepiece is in uh, is in good shape. Uh, the head bumper is still pliable. Um, so what's my point? Why am I showing this? If you're in the market for one of these and you don't want to pay stupid money in the U.S., go ahead and just import one yourself. They're all over Eastern Europe. They're all over former communist communist bloc countries. So you just need to. Um, when you're bringing stuff in the U.S., number one, make sure it's legal to have it. Number two, make sure you're not importing something that's kind of associated with number one. That's a weapon, um, but a scope or a sight. Bringing that stuff into the U.S. is very easy. The, the only time you ever have issues with that is when you're exporting. Because, for example, like if most people, your average mil dot, you know, reticle scope, even in a hunting rifle, that mil dot scope could be considered military technology and could be subject to export controls either by the US government or under international ITAR rules. So, I mean, bringing something like this into the US, I saved a ton of money on this. Even came with the with the carrying bag, which I really don't need, but the price of this compared to what they go in the US, it's a smoking deal. So, for those of you in the market for RPG 7 sites, just buy them overseas. They're a dime a dozen. Anyway, just remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.